All right. So those are the who's the richest electrician you know? Right. So basically, one of my managers at work, um, fuck's his name. Shit, he would murder me if I forgot his name, you know. It will come to me anyway. Um, yeah, Lee. Yeah, Lee. Older man, white man, nice guy, cool, yeah. He's the richest electrician that I know personally, yeah. Cash wise, I don't know how much cash he has, obviously, in it, yeah. But he lives in a property that's a million pound property in Cruise Hill, yeah. Cruise Hill is in Enfield, but like right on the outskirts of that, yeah. Cruise Hill is in Enfield, yeah, right on the outskirts of Enfield and that, isn't it, yeah. He has a million pound house. Now, when he bought the house, it wasn't worth a million, obviously, you know. Yeah. But all the time, the money he put in, the money he invested, right? Obviously, it increased or whatever, and it in fact, the property, the value of the property increased, right? So yeah, I would say he's probably the richest electrician on paper, technically. Yeah, he has a million pound house, and he has a company with his his brother, right? So they have their own business on the side. I reckon, I reckon he's probably the richest electrician that I know yeah. on paper. I do know another electrician, actually, a black man, actually, because this guy I was referring to, Lee, he's white. I know a black man who, he he has his own business. He has vans driving around. He has man working for him. So, but I don't know, obviously, I don't know what his cash flow is like, obviously. And I just know he lives in a house that's probably worth about 600 grand in Enfield. Probably seven or 800 now, because it was probably worth, yeah, 600 grand about five, six years ago, and the year, the year, year uh, the years are rolled by. So yeah, the house is maybe even worth a million pounds. You, you never know it. So yeah, he may also be a rich electrician, but yeah, there's man out here doing their thing. It's just for me, be an electrician, it's not for me. Yeah, it's literally not for me. 